Hi there! This is Magdalena from Email Octopus and today I want to show you how easy it is to create your first email campaign. From the dashboard, click on the Campaigns tab on the top bar of your screen. Now, before you're able to create a campaign, you'll need to have a list with at least one contact in it. It can be your own email address if you haven't built your list just yet, but without that you won't see an option to create a campaign. As I already have a list with contacts in it, I can start creating my campaign. Since this is my first campaign, the button to create a new one appears here. If I already sent some before, it would be in the top right corner of the screen. Once pressed, you'll see an option to choose between a regular campaign, which is a one-off email that you can send right away or schedule for a later date, and automated campaign, which is assigned to a specific time in your subscriber's lifecycle. So today we're going to choose regular. Now, first we need to title our email. I call this one my first email. And this is something your subscribers won't see. It's only for your own records. Next option allows you to choose the sender's name and email address the message will be sent from. Now we need to add a subject line. Let's start with hello. And I'm going to add a merge tag to customize it with my subscriber's first name. And I'll finish with an emoji. In the next field, you can type a preview text, which will appear under or next to the subject line. It's optional, so if you leave it empty, it will just pull the first lines from the content of your message. It's something worth using, so I'm going to put your monthly digest is here. And here you can see how it would look like in an inbox. Back to the editor. In the next step, you can choose who will receive your campaign. You can select a whole list or a specific segment, for example, based on your subscribers' additional fields. I'm just going to choose this list. The advanced settings on the right allow you to turn on or off the ability to track opens or clicks and to personalize the to field. When you're ready, click save and next. Now we are on our templates page, so you can choose one from our drag and drop editor ones, which we recommend for most users. Or if you have HTML experience, you can use our classic editor, which you can access through the first two templates. I've created a template beforehand, so now I can select it from the Your Template section. If you want to create unique campaigns, you have a lot of options to choose from. As you can see, my template already has a logo at the top, which I added by clicking on the image element, dragging it onto the template, and replacing the image with one from my computer. You can customize the whole message to match your needs. For example, you can edit the text, change its color, and font, include a merge tag, such as your subscriber's first name, and insert a hyperlink. You can also use a button to direct your subscribers to a specific URL. All elements can be matched to your color scheme if you know the hex code of the color you'd like to use or select one manually in the color tool. There's also an option for you to add your own HTML code element if there's something more you'd like to have in your campaign. And at the bottom of my campaign, you can see the social follow buttons. They are my favorite option in our editor. It's so easy to select the ones you'd like to use and hyperlink them to your social media profiles. To check how your message will look like in your subscribers' inboxes, you can go to the preview section and view the versions for desktop and mobile. You can also use the test message option to send a test to yourself. Just insert your email address here and you have an option to leave an additional message if, for example, you're sending it to somebody else for review. Press send once you're ready. When you're done, click save and next. And you can review everything before sending it. You can view all the sections and if you'd like, you can go back and change something. The campaign can be sent immediately or at a specific date and time. You can also choose a specific time zone. So I'm going to choose to send immediately. I'm happy with my message, so I'm going to click send. It will ask me to confirm to make sure that I really want to send it. And when you click send again, you'll see that we're preparing it and in just a moment your message will make it to your subscribers. And that's it. I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.